Alrighty, hopefully this helps out a few of you with Tau. Now this is just what I remember from the lecture, so um, yeah, I'll show you what I remembered. Now this is the oxidative phosphorylation curve and how much ATP it's giving into the body. Um, time in minutes, so one, two, three, and then that's showing the amount of fuel that uh, oxidative phosphorylation is giving the body. Now. We find out tau, the, what Mike said was that 4 tau equals pretty much 100%. It's a little phenomenon, he said, a mathematical phenomenon. Um, and so we figure out tau by saying 1 tau is 63% of uh, your line, your curve. So we go across to 63, make a little mark there, and that is 1... Whoop. <laughs> screwed that up one tau and so then we go between this point here 63 percent and that point there which is a hundred percent or the ceiling of the line and we find out 63 percent of that and I've already done all the computations but that's 86.3 so we go across here to about there and that is tau. Um, then we go 63% of that line, which is 94.9, which is about there. And that is 3 tau. And then <clears throat> this line, I just did a freehand, but it should be pretty much straight at that point. And um, then two thirds, of, oh well, 63% between that line and 100 is 4 tau. And on a more accurate graph, that would be pretty much right on the line between 100 and there. So that's 4 tau there. Um, if anyone wants to add things, go for it.